The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. Welcome to this episode of Pit Life Barbecue. Gather around the pit with your hosts, Johnny Mags and Greg the Barbecue Broker DiGiorgio. Let's talk barbecue. I'm getting shaved on the air right now, literally. All right, that, that works! Oh. That yeah. works! That's a hell of a knife. <sighs> Holy What's shit. up, everybody? Coming to you live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe in Salem, New Hampshire. It's the Pit Life Barbecue Podcast, where we talk everything barbecue and a lot of other topics that you normally talk around a pit. As always, I'm joined by the barbecue broker. Hello. Welcome back. I just shaved your arm. Yes, you did. A little little nugget. I shaved, anyway. arm, I shaved a little landing strip proper in there. That's what I did. That's all right. That's cool. Hold on. Let me share this out, then we can get into the... I don't need to write. All right, oh, all right. I know what the hell happened. What happened? This is a pain in my... You yeah. shut your volume off, first I of all. I did shut my volume Well, that was me. That was you. For, everyone forgets a new first time. So what's up? What's up? What's oh, up? Welcome back. Dude, I, what a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no shit. I, I know we talked about it before um, the week started, but um, I, we, I, we, I cooked for four parties this week in seven days. It was no small task. I'll tell you that right now. I put oh, 60, a little over 60 hours of just cooking in this week. Not even counting, prepping, picking up the meats, all that stuff. It was awesome, dude. It was The last one we did was at my daughter's school uh, for Fall Festival. We have another one this coming Saturday for Fall Festival. And then we got a little bit of a break until we get the brewery. So... I cooked a lot of food this week. Nice. I cooked a lot of food. Yeah. I over 400 pounds of meat easily. Good job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. We fed the U.S. Open volunteers, 130 that day. Wow. We served the construction company, 80 people that day. And uh, 80 people at a party the Saturday before that, and 100 plus people on this. And this, now, this coming Sunday, Chrissy, we have 200 parents and 200 kids. Wow. Listen to this pro move. Kids want hot dogs, right? So? Boil the shit out of boil them. Boil the, the shit out of them. Put, so put, I, put a tray in the bottom of the smoker. I get a tray of water always in my smoker, a full long tray of water. Yep. Oh, just God, to keep boys. it nice and moist, moist in the chamber. Nice. And um, I'm just going to dump a freaking about 100 hot dogs in there. And boil the, <laughs> well, I'm, boil the and that's it. Nice. And nice and easy. Yeah. So we're the exclusive. So we were, there's three food vendors last week, but we're the exclusive for this coming. So um, we're going to do, again, the same. Uh, the chopped briskets flew out the window. Nice. Awesome. I had a lot of pulled pork left, but the chopped briskets were like, pow, pow. Nice. Gone. Yeah, nice. Brisket is nice. 18 bucks, oh, chopped brisket. I give you a lot, obviously. I give you, like, it's stuffed. You know what I mean? You need a fork to eat some of it before yeah. you can. Um, and then with some Hi, good helping of mac and cheese. So. Robert Marvin, what's up, brother? Robbie. Daddy Dutch, Al, brother Alton, the dog father in the house. Brother Randy, Junior, what's happening? Oh, yeah. Who else we got? Who else? Uncle Steve. Hi, Uncle what's up, Steve? Steve? Craw Daddy, C Mac. Sandy Smith, what's happening? Jay Scanlon, my dude. Chicago in the house right there. I think nice. He's in, I think Jason nice, nice. Chicago. So you got your rubs. I got my rubs. The Thank you, Uncle Stevie. I got another T-shirt. Thank uh, you. And he, he sent a little mm, gift. This is amazing. I see these all online. People getting I was told cray, that cray is pronounced these. Hoosk. And it's, it is... Hoosk. This is a beautiful knife from my Uncle Steve and yours. Mm-hmm. Uncle Steve. That's you just not shaved my arm with it. I just shaved your arm with it. Legit sharp. This is going to, I love this hole here, this for, for control. This is going to be a good uh, prepping knife for sure. Oh, yeah. That's not a knife, mate. This is a knife. That's, no, uh, it is. Here no, we it go. is. That's no, it is. I just, I feel obligated to say it as well as the other, but that is a really nice <laughs> knife. So. You know, obviously, you cut some nice steaks with this. Yep. I mean, this is beautiful. And of course, Uncle Steve shake on right the there handle. On the handle. Thank you. It feels it's, nice. It's Thank cool. you, it's got yeah. a nice weight to it. You know? Oh, it's well balanced. Yeah. That's kind of the key. Brother James, well what's happening? Well balanced. So that is So, Chrissy, we got a, I got a question for you. You want to sleep with Uncle Steve? 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow, I didn't know That's the show was just, just going, going in right that direction. Just direct right into the it. point. Yes. <laughs> do I want do to? Do you want to sleep with Uncle Steve? I do. Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't my director. Um... Wow, are we are we sleeping? Are we wink wink sleeping? Yes, I do want to sleep with Uncle Steve. Good, because we got something for you too. Okay. <laughs> so you you are gonna sleep with Uncle Steve <gasps> every night. I am. I already spend every night on the porch with him. The new uh, Uncle Steve <laughs> pillowcase. <laughs> I love you, Uncle uh, Steve. Thank you so much. I believe it's for a body pillow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna for wrap a my legs. So yeah, it's gonna wrap your legs around his head. Yo, I, I sleep with <laughs> the pillow <laughs> between my legs anyway, so that's we know where that one's going, boys. Oh, I'd love to be that pillow. You're welcome, Uncle Steve. What? <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Day. I don't want to get it dirty. I'm not kidding. I have a cigar and a cocktail with Uncle Steve every nice, evening on the porch. Christy. I've got the pillow on the porch. All right, before we get started, Ooh, today please. is brought to you by yes. Uncle Steve Shake. Why is no one coming to your barbecues but to go into Johnny's? Because Johnny uses Uncle Steve's shake, and apparently you're not, which means one thing, Chrissy. You better get you some. Damn straight, Uncle Steve's shake is handmade, uses only the finest ingredients, and comes in 12, 13, 13 including the new, what's the new one? Lucky shake. The new lucky shake. Lucky shake. It's, lucky, shake. it's lucky 13 is what it is. Yeah. If you can eat it, Uncle Steve has a shake for it. If you have any shake questions, Uncle Steve has fantastic customer service. They'll walk you through all your shake needs. It's time to take your backyard and your competition game to that next level with Uncle Steve's shake. Shake some on everything. You got it. UncleSteveShake.com. Today's episode also brought to you by... Two Guys Smoke Shop and TwoGuysCigars.com. Whether we are barbecuing or not, we always keep the smoke rolling. Thanks to our friends at TwoGuysCigars.com. Today we are smoking the Timeless Prestige mm -hmm. Hermoso. Thanks to our friends from TwoGuysCigars.com, we get to smoke some of the best cigars in the world, and so can you. <laughs> Just visit TwoGuysCigars.com <laughs> for your perfect barbecue companion. That's the number two, guysforguys.com. Boom. Also yeah. brought to you by... Backline Fabrication and Backline Smokers. Mr. Ryan Newland out of Austin, Texas, doing some amazing things out of his one-man shop. <clears throat> A lot of pit builders, as you know, they're not touching the smokers that are on their assembly line, but this guy is fabricating every square inch. Not one pit looks the same when it comes out of this guy's shop. I'll tell you right now, the possibilities are endless. He builds... Custom smokers for catering, when, or you want competition, um, you know, off road model, or my favorite, the multi tool half plancha, half grill, well, a third plancha, a third grill, and a third hanging stuff, whatever you can do. It's Cinema, an amazing yeah. thing. Check out Ryan Newland at uh, Backline Fabrication, Austin, Texas. Backlinefabrication.com. Give him a follow on Instagram and see what this guy is doing. Some amazing, amazing stuff. And that's all I got. Nice. So today, this mm -hmm. is this is going to be fun. It really is. This gonna is going to be, be fun. A great show. I have seen this gentleman on a couple different shows. He was on the hot seat. Mm -hmm. He's... Um, he, you know, I, for, for, I think I was the first I saw him with, on the hot seat with CJ and Kent, or was it, it was. with Brother Alton? It might have been Brother Alton then <laughs> went to the hot seat. That's right, the dog father himself. Boom. Nice job, Chrissy. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> and we got barbecue. We're talking barbecue gloves. Ooh. One of the most essential accessories in your barbecue gear box. Mm -hmm. and Period. Everyone I talk to raves, swears by these. But then that little little ditty a couple weeks ago, the American Royal. Just a little royal, yep. I was seeing these gloves firsthand action. And yep. we'll get to that of what he was, this gentleman was doing with these gloves was unbelievable. But without any further ado, let's get the, down to the brass tacks. The brass tacks. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Magna Chef Gloves, Mr. Al Infante. What's up, brother? Yeah, dude. How are you guys doing? What's up, brother, man? Hanging out. Thank you for taking some time <laughs> to join us. This is awesome. And thanks for having me. Really pumped, man. Nice, nice. So how we always usually start, who is Al Infante. How did you uh, get into your barbecue journey, if you would, and how did Magna Chef come about? 
about me. I've been a firefighter for 17 years with uh, Miami-Dade County. Uh, so you probably know, uh, us firefighters, we do like to cook. And, uh, you know, I was prior to that, I never was really big into cooking, but you know, one thing you need to do when you get on the fire service, you got to learn how to cook, at least get one or two two good plates down. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, that way you don't piss your crews off (laughs) and you got something that's edible. Um, so, you know, like anything I got into, uh, cooking, just throwing it to the fire, just doing different things. And, uh, you know, barbecue was a big part of it. It's, uh, it, cause it's pretty easy to do. It could be, well, let me think. It's not very easy to do, but it can take a minimal amount of time when you just throw some stuff over the fire. Right. Uh, so started, uh, started, you know, barbecuing and stuff. And, you know, one thing I noticed, I was having a lot of issues with a lot of different gloves I was using. Uh, you know, there was one glove for this and it was more for heat. And this glove was better for anything that had to do with water because you don't want to be compromised on your glove of water. And I was like, damn, this is, you know, this is a little more complicated than it needs to be. Right. Uh, and one outlier, I guess I saw in, in, in most firehouses was, We were using old pairs of fire gloves, like actual fire gloves that we use on calls and on jobs. They're just hanging around and people are using that because at least with that, you know, you're getting protected from both. Right. But uh, nobody wants to spend three hundred dollars on a pair of barbecue gloves. So that's when I can't. That's I guess my aha moment is making a glove that works for everything. Right. And one thing that that, you know, we as firemen uh, want is something that's accessible, se- you know, semi easy to get in, a- in, into and out of. Right. And that's where that, that kind of concept came for the, uh, Magna chef gloves, you know? Awesome. So you make it out of the, it's made out of similar material that the fire gloves are made out of. Out yeah, of silicone, <clears throat> they're made out of silicone, but basically what I wanted was, Something you can get in and out of quick, but you can use on everything, right? So they're versatile. Um, because like I said, you know, when we've seen, and I'm sure you guys have used them, you know, you're going to use your, your aramid fiber gloves, which, which, hey, nothing against them. They, they work for heat. Uh, the thing is, when you're working in them for so long, you're sweating, your hands get moist. And once that happens, mm-hmm. man, I mean, there's nice. nothing else to do but take them off and they're going to sit there the rest of the day until they dry out. Fact. So it is and funny because I, I do I do have two sets of gloves, just like you said. I yeah. have those cottony ones. You got the cottony ones that, that you feel that you need for anything non wet, really. Yeah. You, whatever. And then you have the other ones which you don't mind picking up your because you never pick up your f- food with the cotton ones. Yeah, you got the cotton with the nitro. Yeah. On top of them. which is good for if I want to take out my my, a, a my grates thing. or my my racks or something. Yeah. Take out a top rack, but you could use. Those gloves, the Magnus Chef gloves, to take your top rack out of your smoker mm-hmm. or or handle, uh, a, a, you know, a, a charcoal chimney or something, for, or or take your Weber kettle grill off, right, or something while it's going. If you have, or, your, or your green egg place setter or something like that, you could use because that's what I would use the black gloves for. Yeah, is to, to like let's say I needed to go from uh, indirect to direct on my green egg. That thing is scorching hot. That 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 place setter. I would use the cotton high heat gloves for that but you're telling me that your silicone gloves won't melt on contact with something that hot they won't i mean the thing is the the regular silicone glove is one one to one and a half uh, millimeters thick right so it's pretty thin right there so what we did we made ours and you can probably see here they're a hell of a lot thicker these are about three millimeters thick so it's double the thickness and then we got uh, these grip waves on them, which is basically another layer of insulation that you're getting in between. So it's not actually hitting the body yet, right? So that gives you just extra, extra protection. These are heat rated at 500 degrees. And these other ones, they're heat rated uh, usually about 425, which even that is a little high in my, in my opinion, mm-hmm. because my thing is, sure, they're rated for that. But that's, are you holding it for like two or three seconds that's, and then you got to yeah. get it off? Come on. You know, There's and, and with us, I mean, you, yeah, There's you can a, you can work right. under those conditions for a while, at least a good 25, 30 seconds, 
before you start really getting some some heat. And the heat comes in slow, so it kind of you can still have time to work with it. With the heat, with those other gloves, they come in so quick, you're basically ripping them off yeah. a lot of times. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So and was, actually, when you just put brought them into the camera shot and just put them back. You showed a wonderful feature of these gloves because we're all in there, you know, whether we're on site somewhere or tailgating at the local game or, you know, in the backyard, you know, we're doing our thing. So we're everywhere, all at multi places all at once. So you take the gloves off and you put them down and then you go and where the hell did I just put my gloves? Yep, yep. Oh, here's one. Where the hell is my other one? Because you put it over there, you put a pot. You put, you know, put a Dutch oven on top of it just to... I'll tell you where it is. Where the hell is my other glove? It's in Crawdaddy's barbecue uh, box. Well, it he took in, it home by accident. There's no mistake in them when you have a well, magnet glove. So right. you've taken that problem out of the equation, too. Mm-hmm. Right. Add to that, I mean, the good thing, you know, what's funny is is another another great thing is that you can multitask you know, your phone rings, you got, you got to add seasoning to, to anything. This glove is still hanging there, and it's not coming off. These magnets are super strong. They're near the magnets. you able to pull it right out. Yeah, you can pull it right out, get your phone, get your seasoning, get your thermopen, you know, check out, you know, what you got on in the and, out and put it right back in and go right back to work. Tell you me, know? tell me it's about that, the, It's that simple. I, I, tell me about your design um, idea when you came up with that, to have the – the, the two the, fingers kind of like the kind of like the easiest way to the, the kind of like the, sho- the, old, the old shocker almost it's almost like right a, right the old shocker <laughs> we call it the we, we call it the spocker the spocker spock. <laughs> what is your de- live long and live long and barbecue what the was the thought process behind that did you try it because those gloves are unique you could tell those gloves um you know from 20 feet away next to any other gloves what was your thought process? Did you try them straight, you know, in a straight line at first, uh, then figure it, or maybe this way here, if your fingers are together, there's less friction, they come off easier. What was your p- mental process behind? That's a p- great, great question, and that's what a lot of people ask. See? And that's what that's I noticed questions. when I started doing these, these prototype kind of gloves, I would notice that when I was having them with the independent five-figure configuration, you got all these walls, right, in between your fingers, so what happens is you get a lot. It's 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 gunk build up, and and it's one. It's hard to it's hard to grip down sometimes on things, especially when they're thicker. And don't get me wrong, a thicker glove will give you a better heat rating more than likely, right? Mm-hmm. But your dexterity now you're compromising dexterity. So I wanted to do two things. I wanted to to be you know pliable, got get great dexterity at them, but I also wanted a high heat rating. So the only way to do that was to just make it that these two uh, digits meet and there's no vertical wall separating them. So at first you look at them, they're, you know, and and, and I admit it, they're kind of strange in that sense. But when you try them, you see how comfortable it is. There's no gunk buildup. It's easy to get in and out of. And um, and that was, that was the biggest thing. I was like, functionality is the biggest thing. And when I started researching uh, different kind of grips, and how people uh, go and grab, let's say, for instance, just, you know, my regular cup here. They go with these three digits, which is the tripod grasp, which is what we normally use to pick up anything. I mean, work on your mouse. You're working on your mouse with these three fingers. Go pick up your car keys. It's mostly these three fingers. Hmm. So, I, you know, they're, they're the dominant figure. I said, why the hell isn't there a glove already that can be basically a hybrid between a mitt and an actual glove? So it still gives you the workability of a glove, but yet the comfort of a mitt, and mm-hmm. and that's that's I think what we what we kind of ended up solving. Right. Uh, with- I got a I, I got a question here. There's <clears throat> got to be a story to this one because it's followed by a laughing face. But uh, it's from uh, Kent, you know, which you met Kent or Daddy Dutch down at the Daddy Royal, Dutch. and he yes, asked, uh, "Ask Al a pair for the kitchen and a pair for the." <laughs> Bedroom, I believe. <laughs> I missed that, that part of the line. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, that scares without me, Dutch. Any names, that scares without me. any names being said, but man, we had a. By the way, Daddy Dutch and I, we had a blast out there at the American Royal. Man, uh, we had a great time. As a matter of fact, I think I owe you still commission 
when I was gone helping JB with all with all the stuff there, Danny Dutch was just selling gloves like no big deal. That's what he was saying. He was pumping gloves out there, and yes, yes. See, I knew there had but, to have been a had a, had to have been a, a, a funny part to the end of yeah, that. That's funny. I think this was on Thursday or Friday. You know, the parties are happening, people are drinking, and. It must have been probably around midnight. So, you know, funny stuff happens around that time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and there was uh, there was a couple that came by, and they were, like, super intrigued. They were like, man, what is that? Is that a barbecue glove? We're like, yeah, try it out. They're, you know, they're looking at it. They're trying. Wow, it feels real good. I mean, can this be used for other things? I'm like. Hey, you can use this for whatever the hell you want. Okay? But He's like, hey, hmm. for barbecue. Ooh. And I suggest if you're going to do it for barbecue, have one for barbecue and use one for wherever the hell else you're going to use it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and know which one. Get different colors. So you know <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, you, you, you're playing with some hot peppers on one hand. You know, that, that could get ugly real quick. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to mix them <laughs> bad boys up. Oh, oh that's shit. funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Listen, man, when funny. I came out with these things, I knew I knew you got to have a sense of humor, man. Because if not, this uh, it's very true. You know, it's oh it's, hell yeah, people are just gonna, earlier, people are gonna screw with you. But I, I was ready for it. Hell, so. earlier <laughs> in the chat when you were talking with the gloves, you know, you, 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 the inside of the glove gets moist. The, the chat, the chat blew, up blew up with moist. With moist. Yeah, you a bunch of you know, you, it was one of the magic <laughs> yeah. words for guys. Ah, you know, we right. can't. Right. <laughs> Brother James was like moist. Kyle, you're right. So I thought at first the same thing, and I think a lot of people do. You know, they look at it and they go, "Shit, man, that's gonna f that's gonna fit weird or something." But I think Kyle got a pair, and like I said, I had a pair for a while, and you know, they don't. They don't feel weird. Maybe at first because you're expecting all your fingers to be, you know, but... Uncle Steve. You get, you get over mm, it really quick. Because moist. <laughs> what also I liked from what I remember when I had the, the gloves um, before I gave them the BK, there's no, in, there's no lining in them. I notice a lot of the gloves that I use with lining, and don't get me wrong, lining will give you that extra uh, layer of insulation as well. But, um, but they get sweaty, they can get moldy, and, and that's a kind of another takeaway. What I actually like is that you get so much room in here so that basically you're allowing a lot of times when they do get a little warm, because obviously anything, it's a heat shield, right? They're going to get warm in time. Right. But that you get cool air coming in, so you got hot air kind of moving out and you get cool air coming in. So, you know, when you get those tight gloves, there's nowhere for that thing to go. You know, that, that heat's kind of trapped for a while until you take it off and let it cool down itself. Right. These will kind of cool down sometimes as you're going, especially when you're doing minor things. Like if you're pulling a bunch of pork butts, it might warm a little, but you got so much room there. It's, mm. it's constantly cooling itself, Yeah, the, you know, I, which, is, oh, which is nice. I really hate taking off the other gloves with the cotton lining on the inside and then half the time, the lining of the finger comes out of one of the one of the fingers. You know, now you're having trouble getting it back in. Now they don't fit. That's annoying. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Oh my god! What now? Dang, I wouldn't. Oh, we got another one. Oh, well, Jonathan, another funny Jonathan Barton. <laughs> no gloves. You know, the, the, the the couple <laughs> Al was talking about the wife wanted a glow in the dark pair for the bedroom. Ooh, <laughs> you make those yet? <laughs> Ah. We do. They're green. The green ones are glowing in dark. Just take a glow stick in it, sweetheart. You'll be all right. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. The, 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 idea, the idea behind that was, was more for camping. I'm going to stick with. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Rob, camping Rob gloves. Marvin asks, what's, um, <laughs> is, 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 there, is there like a warranty with the gloves? or We do a, a year warranty. Okay. So... And I have no problems. I mean, I still haven't had a set which, you know, knock on wood, um, return to us uh, from use. Uh, because, I mean, hell, we've had the same pair in our firehouse for three years. Putting them through the ringer every day. And, you know, like I said, they're, they're going to last you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Big Rome asked uh, the heat resistance. Uh, you, you mentioned earlier was 500 what? Oh, we just lost the audio for a sec. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. There it yep. is. No, you're gone. They're five. 
yeah, 500 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Okay, 500 the, uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Yep. Okay. And okay. they can actually go over. I, I can probably put it up, but I, I you know, this is. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to be liable for anything that happens. Although you, I've used them on a lot hot, hotter things, mm-hmm. hot skillets, hot grates, and like I said, no issues, no issues. I picked up, you know, lump with them. You know, skillets is that. key to pick up a, like a hot skillet. Oh God, yeah. Because you, you know, a lot of times, you know, you, you you get those silicone covers that go over it, but this is essentially the same the same thing, right? It, oh, absolutely, and also you can grab the other end because you, you get a both decent ends. side. You get it's a, heavy. You get a twelve-inch skillet. Yeah. That's get that's little, gonna be top heavy on the other end. A little couple tunnel going on that helps. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> a little bit helps. But you know, yes, sir. With the um, you know, because we, you and I, kind of got hooked up literally over James, James's lives during the during the royal. Oh, that's right. And um, claim I was, you know, I was really. St- Saw it with him live, you guys putting these gloves to the test. I don't know if it was you, Dutch, or Ryan Newland. Literally had the think, gloves in. Yeah, I think it was in the, on the uh, multi tool. Uh, multi tool, yeah, man. Yeah. Had you the we glove on, hand in, just moving the coals around. And all you see is glowing red. And the hand is just literally stationing. Positioning coals, and that's funny because typically I would, I would use the, I would think typically to use the cotton gloves for that, thinking that a silicone pair would melt doing that. But apparently, these don't. Don't. No, it was wild. It's just that they're so thin, and that, and that's a big takeaway, you know, because because they're great. I mean, as far as water resistance, boiling water, they're good for that. But they just won't give you that heat protection since they're so thin. Mm. And I said, if I double it, I mean, you know, the the to make this glove is is, is not cheap. And I'm and I'm, but you know, I understand people's situations, so I'm still trying to keep it at a at a you know competitive price that it's not it's not uh, not a super premium price, you know. Um, but yeah, silicone and everything like you guys seen, everything's going up, man. It's it's crazy times right now. No. You know, uh- Big Rome is asking, what, what what colors do they come in? Because I know he's a Dodger fan, so he he'd be he'd like that uh, royal that blue. royal blue you got. Oh yeah, the royal blue. I, I got him right here in the packaging those are right dope. here. Yeah, that's a dope. This is the yeah, this is the royal blue pair right here, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's yeah, it's pretty it's pretty popular. I would say the black is the most popular. The red and then uh, red and royal blue are right there. They're neck and neck. I would oh, say, and then we got a green. We got the green yep. or Camping. Camping. Nice. Okay. Camping. <laughs> they have camping. Quotes. But um, <laughs> while you was, while we're still at the road, because like I said, I, my mind was completely blown on everything I was seeing there. You actually got to sit down with a, a, a certain barbecue legend and talk about the gloves, the, the one Mr. Harry Sue. Oh. How did that come about? Man, that was cool as hell. I think Harry was there to see uh, James, actually. And, uh, you know, so I see him there. I'm like, holy hell. Hey, Harry. He's like, hey, how are you? He hadn't even met me. Uh, so I didn't even give him a formal introduction. He looked like he was He was like, hey, have you seen James? I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's, you know, inside the RV. So he goes and he talks to him. And, you know, he was in there for a few minutes. And, and uh, you know, I'm helping JB with some stuff and, he comes out. He's like, hey, man, you know, I heard about these barbecue gloves. Let me check them out. And uh, just super cool, man. Super humble guy. And he's like, man, you know what? Let's do a little something. He took the camera out. He's like, I'm going to do a little interview on you. Let's set up the, the gloves here. Let's do this. And I'm like, man. That's so he just, cool. I mean, just just super cool, man. I don't know. I was so unexpected. Yeah. But the fact that he just came up to me, I, I got goosebumps. I was like, dude, holy hell, man. The exposure, man. You're, gonna get, the exposure yeah, yeah, you're man. gonna get a freaking legend. The exposure you're gonna get just from his YouTube video from that is gonna be incredible. No, for That's sure, awesome, man. man. Harry's a super great guy. Very, very super cool. nice guy. Super yeah. That's we got nice. a, I've been working trying to get it. his schedule <clears> is so crazy. Who? Harry Sue. Yeah? You know, so it's gotta be like a it's cr- I would. He guys, all is everywhere. He travels everywhere. Well, he time. also works for the water department in Los Angeles. Does he really? Oh yeah, he runs the computer, the, the transfer water everywhere. Oh, he's he's he he doesn't stop. He I'll doesn't say stop. it. I'll say it once. I'll say it again. I always forget that barbecue guys have other other jobs too. This shit gets expensive. <laughs> it does brother. get expensive. <laughs> Cracking out so much. Yeah, 
But even even more than that, like the fact that he just you know took time for me with a, such a busy schedule, I was like, man, I was I was completely yeah. flabbergasted, man. I was like, wow, thank you, man. Yeah, it was like it wasn't like five minutes, man. The guy took, you know, he was there with me 10, 15 minutes. You yeah, know, that's awesome. And I'm sure he's got. I mean, at the American Royal, you got a lot of people to meet and a lot of things to do. So the fact that he took time out of his day was was really awesome, man. So really awesome. the dog father. Is telling me that I better tell go tell my man Al. The dog father says, "What's up? How you doing, my brother?" <laughs> yeah, Alton, another another good dude. <laughs> Kyle, just surrounded by great one. Where Kyle, Kyle, <laughs> Kyle just wants to know if you gave Harry Sue a pair of green gloves. Oh God! Oh, <laughs> these green oh, gloves are gonna no. <laughs> these green gloves For are gonna get a reputation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up, Ben Ross? Got a call from <laughs> Big Ben Ross in the house. Oh, that's hilarious. So one of the other things that I saw out during that was, like you said, you guys were kind of set up out in front of the the site and, you know, talking to everybody walking by because the place is a zoo. You know, there's people walking everywhere and everyone's selling this, selling that, you know, everything barbecue related. And... The, he, he had just stopped on you, and you were talking to a few people, and he was a little far away, so I just saw you doing this with your hands. And then, as he got closer, you're sitting there having a normal conversation, calm, cool, collected, with a couple people in front of you, and you are literally about... Uh, bouncing back and forth in your hand with these gloves, probably a softball size of lump charcoal, glowing red, like a like like from the yellow bag of Fogo. Yeah, the big softball <laughs> size, and it's just you're just pushing yeah, it back Fogo. and forth. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? It was Fogo? Yeah, it was Fogo. Because <laughs> <laughs> you get those meteor, those meteor size, yes. those yeah. huge <laughs> ones that you you know like. I know exactly what you're but talking just, about. But just that, because I don't even know if James still might have the, some of those videos, if he even had it, because I know it was alive mm -hmm. up on his page. But I'm sitting there going, am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Because you're just sitting there nonchalant, just shooting the breeze about the product, just just balancing back and forth a 500-degree piece of coal. Like the ripe tomatoes. And that's the thing, people... People sometimes think, oh, you know, because they see the magnet. And I was like, oh, that's just a gimmick or, or something, right? And I'm like, no, man, listen, we, we, we made all these parts to, to work and, and to function under heat and everything else. So they see this, they think it's a gimmick. But when they when I start messing with lump or, or a big piece of wood that's on fire and they're just like, oh, wow, man, that's, you know, that's that's kind of the closer for them, yeah. you know, in, in, in the sale in the sense that they're going to get a quality product, you know, for sure. Yeah, it was amazing. You know, like I said, those the absolutely. I saw that and I went, "Oh wow!" Because, like I said, I've seen Alton with them, and you know, I've had gloves upon gloves, and oh yeah, you know, I'm I'm still finding they, stuff they everywhere. Go through them fast. The we cook as much as we cook. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's the other thing. You know, but they were like, I could never find the right one. They didn't fit right. Or like you were saying, you get a little water. Or more importantly, with us. You know, with dealing with rendered fat. So I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sitting there taking a pork butt or a brisket off of the pit, and all of a sudden, whoops. And next thing you know, the, the, the two dogs, the dogs are having a field day because I just dropped a 20-pound brisket right out of my hands mm. because there was no grip. These are uh, having grip to them. Did, like I had, I had posted a link earlier um, – before the show earlier this afternoon, and I had put literally the best barbecue glove on the market today. And I honestly believe that from A, everybody I've talked to, and like you said, Harry Sue. You gonna tell me Harry Sue is lying? Brother Alton, James, JB, Ryan, Dutch, you know, first hand knowledge, you know, then the videos themselves. 
just prove the point and bring, hit it home of balancing the, the lump back and forth. Your hand, the hand is right in the burning coals, mm-hmm. and nobody's flinching. Yes, your hand's getting warm, but you still can, you can still do whatever you needed to do with those coals and not burn yourself. You're saving yourself a trip to the ER, mm-hmm. or more importantly, you're saving a, a call for you so you can relax a little bit. That's right. That's right. It takes some call volume off our end. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that if I dropped a 20-pound brisket on the ground, I'd still eat it. I'm not. Yeah, but you know <laughs> Me Mac. Too. <laughs> you too. I'm in. High five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my, 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 I'm my wrestling dog my dogs. Just Get yeah. out of here. At, at, attack the thing. Yeah, because they sit right there waiting oh, for God, you to. Yeah. They're like waiting for you to drop scraps. Oh, yeah. They even sit by the bed. Use the other guy's gloves, they get a 20-pound brisket. Use his, they're sticking to scraps. They're sticking to scraps, that's for <laughs> sure. Hell that's yeah. it, that's it. That's amazing. So what's, 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 in the, what's next? What's, what's the future look like for the company? What are we doing? Where are we going? Future is uh, we, we want to develop a, a few different products, right? Um, you know, we got, we got obviously, uh, we got a utility patent on these gloves. And we got actually two other utility patents on some barbecue uh, accessories that we want to come out with. We're working on one right now, um, and I don't want to give it away, mm-hmm. but it's it's definitely I think it's going to be useful. Okay. Uh, I will definitely let you guys know because maybe we can be one of the first shows. That, Another one of those essential. You know, one of those essential. Oh, hell yes, yeah. uh, very essential. Very essential. Okay. It's 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 another one that's very versatile, mm-hmm. and it's uh, it encompasses like. Three tools in one, okay. so right. that that can be very helpful. Um, and it's just so basically, it's just ways. I mean, that we can just simplify right the the process that we go through right to make it easier. Um, and that's why I guess our gloves really caught on with the competition guys um, is just because time is of the essence, right? Hundred percent. You got no time to waste. One thing no when BS. I was at there, like at the American Royal, man, like. If you're just off by a few minutes, I mean, you, in turning time, that's it. You're you're off by a second. They're not they're not even going to allow it in, right? Done. Yeah. So time is is vital. Um, that's why I see, man. It's like you said, a lot of these guys, a lot of grand champions, grand champions that from before that, you know, talk to me, man. I've used so many different gloves, and now these are my go tos because it's not like. I'm taking time to put these things on. I'm taking time to put them on. It's quick. It's 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 why. Another reason I saw a big opportunity in the market, I see so many guys with towels, right? Towels, because there's no time. I can't be doing all this kind of stuff. And, and like you were alluding to earlier, right, putting the, um, the nitrile, the, 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 I'm sorry, the cotton liner glove, then putting the nitrile over that glove. Dude, all that, sh- all that takes time and, and money, right? So, it, you know, we found a way to simplify it, and that's what we kind of want to do in the other products that we're rolling down. Uh, the pike uh, is just make it easier for for everybody, right? You're not um, you're not reinventing the wheel. You're making the wheel just spin better. I like right, that, Chrissy. That's all we're trying to do. You like that? Was that good? That was nice. You could use that. that. You want to take that? Can, yes, run. I was. I like we're laughing at that. Run <laughs> with it. I was laughing Ow. at Efren. Take it or run. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the boys are just having a blast yep. here now. We did this. this the, the chat room has gone straight into the gutter. <laughs> yeah. You know, because... <laughs> it could be a good thing. Though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Efren's asking, you know, can the new tool, tool. be used in multiple rooms? Yeah. <laughs> only the green gloves, yeah. Efren. Only, Unle- the, uh, only unless the green. You're, unless you're a damn cardiac surgeon or something, you know, maybe, because this, this one's a little more... Yeah, you got to watch out in dark places. <laughs> this will this, this, hurt you. Wait. Unless you're into that. Hey, some people stuff. are into that. And that's what that's why people are into some of that, Kyle. Uh, that other stuff. Kyle, I come up with some good ones every once in a while. Stop <laughs> busting my balls, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. Uncle, Uncle Steve says you need to come up with magnet, magnetic clips for the belt. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, yes. Well, okay. That's that's actually Wait. one of the things we're working on in the back burner with an apron. Actually, dude, so I got it. Can... I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Clips for the for the belt or the apron, two sided. You so, go like that. So you're like, Bam. Or you like? You're like you're like Clint Eastwood, you're dude. Trying, you know? 
Duh. Make my day. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So, and and, and also, uh, I love it. Uncle Steve's asking, yeah. did you get your other the other box he sent you? <laughs> uh, Uncle Steve's at at uh, American Row. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at okay. He was just asking. Kyle. Kyle wants to know. Awesome, man. Well, first of all. <laughs> Don't bring me into this Big Rome just because you want to know. Big Rome says, does it come with lube? And then Kyle <laughs> says, does it have multiple speeds? Chrissy wants to know. I'm asking Chrissy, for a Chrissy, were you texting Kyle on the side? Well, we know we know. can't share this to the Kids Q, <laughs> kids Q page. So, uh, <laughs> exactly. down one Chrissy wants to wow. know. Inquiring, <laughs> in, inquiring minds. Chrissy wants oh, to know. Awesome. Freaking yeah. amazing. That's oh, freaking that awesome. That is hilarious. Awesome. You buy it, Kyle, and we'll find out. <laughs> yes, yes, Kyle. Send us some but, vids, Kyle. But know. Al, as as, as we as we as we're starting to uh, wrap this up, uh, you and I have had talked on um, on Sunday, and uh, you were very kind to um, to bring us on board with you and the company, and uh, we have um, Al has given us an affiliate link. Mm. Which yep. will be in the description, it's and I did, that is the link I had shared out earlier. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I posted on my personal page, both the podcast page and the community page, and uh, I, I know a couple of the guys have, have already placed orders this afternoon, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I seen a couple of guys are really interested. So go to either the Pit Life community page, the podcast page, or my personal. Facebook page, you'll see that. You know, I'll be I'll be posting it throughout the week. You know, especially guys and girls now. <laughs> Holidays are coming. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. You gotta start. Trust me, I work for the post office. I know mm -hmm. how backed up this shit gets. Big Rome says hashtag keep the gloves moist. Oh God. <laughs> hey, remember that we the got good the thing best is community there, ever. We talked about it. They're dishwasher safe. So Ooh. oh, when okay. Them, Throw inside now, yeah, that's that's yeah. that's yeah. amazing. And when I was saying cotton in, insert, I was saying not the cotton gloves. I'm saying the ones that come built in some of these gloves. Those are the pains in the asses. Those are the ones yes. that you pull out, and then the freaking pinky comes out. Now you can only get four fingers back in. Exactly, that's a pain. Exactly. In the ass. And then that's why, because other people have told me, man, you should put the cotton liner in there. I'm like, listen, I'm avoiding that. I want my gloves to be, you know, as clean as it can be. Throw them in a the dishwasher with a cotton liner. You're not going to be able to do that. You're not going to be able to do that. No, so no, no. it's a no-go for that. And oh, and by the way, when you go, just to add to that, uh, to what you were saying, Johnny, the the uh, the link, if they put promo code ROYAL21, you're going to get a little nice little uh, discount on that too. Okay. All right. Nice. Good to know. Good to know. So you guys heard that. Hit that link, ROYAL21, for a little extra mm -hmm. in uh, – Actually, Brother Alton is saying uh, we need we need a pink pair for, for breast, breast cancer, cancer awareness. awareness. Mm -hmm. ah. so that 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 would be a fantastic idea. That would be cool. It would also match, cool. match Chrissy's hair. What? Yep. Just yeah, we got pink this week. Yeah, still pink. Still pink. We gotta we gotta keep up. You know, Just sometimes, sometimes you quickly change. You do. You're like. Green, blue, pink. We all know what we're going to get. I've got green, old no, blue since you've been here. I know you haven't. I had them back in Australia. I can imagine you might have before. I'm just I fine. have. I have. <laughs> but, Al, where can, uh, where can everybody find you? Uh, social media, websites, all that good yeah. stuff. So, yeah, social media. If you go to at MagnusChef in Facebook, and then it's Instagram. We have at MagnusChef underscore BBQ underscore glove. And you'll find us there on Instagram. Um, and then the website, uh, go to magnuschef.com. So that's M A G N E C H E F. Yeah, that, that, that E's the key. Yeah. M A G N E. Everybody wants to put Magna with an A. It's yeah. true. But it's like, like magnet. So, yeah. except without the T. M A G N E, and then the word chef. Awesome. And uh, you are good to go. Sweet, sweet. Hang out with us. Awesome, for brother. A few. Let us Thank you so out. much. We'll gonna fit, roll this, put a nice tight little bow on this, and uh, we'll jump back with you in just a second, brother. Give us a Thank quick you one. so much for taking some time with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Hell yeah. What a good dude. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And 100%. like you said, being a firefighter. Yep. Literally plays with 
fire for a living. Yeah. You trust, so the, you trust with a guy these like that. Gloves. He knows what he's talking about. He's, you know, that that's 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 it right there. Yeah. If you I know, had to, the thought in the design mm-hmm. and every, he he left no stone unturned in the, the the design and thoughts of the process of these gloves. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, from the magnets to the fingers to perfect. Amazing. And like I said, just seeing him roll that big softball sized piece of lump back and forth just glowing mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it was like, like it was nothing yeah unbelievable love it love it That's and it. you know about that if you did that with a pair of cotton gloves after a while those cotton gloves get so dirty inside you put them on you take them off and your hands are black yeah you don't you're not going to get that with 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 the magnus chef gloves you can play with fire as much as you want brother lep what's up brother hands. hell yeah but yeah awesome good stuff right. cool 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 What's going down for next week? Not a damn thing. Well, that sounds exciting. Yes. Come up with a topic, son. Maybe I will. Yeah. I think you should. I will, and it's going to involve Kyle somehow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, I'm coming to get you. Sounds, sounds good. Aww. Sounds good. Awesome. Awesome, brother. Awesome. That's all we got. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's it for this week, folks. We'd like to thank you all for joining us. Catch the audio wherever podcasts are found. Catch the video on Facebook and YouTube. On YouTube, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. You'll have all our episodes right there at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. On social media, find us at pitlifebbqpodcast at gmail.com. I screwed that up, didn't I? Like, share, subscribe. Hit that button. All the social medias. Find them down below. (laughs) The link will be in the um, The the Magnus Chef. You've only done this 200 times. Shut the fuck up. Get that knife. The Magnus Chef link is already there. Unbelievable. The, yeah, the link is down in yep. the description. Yep. All our social media is down there. Yeah. Questions, comments, pitlifebbqpodcast at gmail.com. And like always, subscribe, like, rate, and review. You. Hit that share button. You mocking me, son? Yep. Okay. Wow. You're going to need that knife to get out of here alive, <laughs> son. Oh. Burn your nuts. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> I need the gloves first. Anyway. <laughs> next, till next week. Keep, keep the, the smoke rolling. rolling. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.